Well, I've gone, let's see, I've gone 10 yards and I'm stuck in these shallow uh, mini rapids. Uh, they're a bit more shallow than I thought and possibly I'm a bit heavier than I thought. Okay, I made it through. It's not quite deep enough for a guy like me to go through that small of a rapid. I happen to know this creek pretty well and unfortunately there's a couple more of those shallow areas. I'm armed with only one simple oar. But right now, this is very nice. This is very pretty, but see those rapids down there? Yeah, I gotta get ready for that. Well, y'all, it's another beautiful day out here. Today I'm on the uh, Little Harpeth Creek. Or I, I think it's called the Little Harpeth River. It uh, joins with the Harpeth River in 0.83 miles. So it's a short trip today, if everything goes as planned. But man, it is beautiful. Check a look at this. Yeah. I think I'm going to try these rapids out a little differently this time. Uh, sorry, the boat is drifting. Right now I'm laying down in the boat on the, uh, man, this is a real nice shady spot. I'm laying down on the boat, um, my feet there, my back is up against the bow, so my torso and upper body is at an angle, and I'm trying to see if that distributes the weight better. Of course, this isn't nearly as shallow as. Oh, oh, bloody hell! I may have ripped the vinyl on that one. Okay, but we made it. Not too bad. Nice little gravel bar over there. Oh no, there's a down tree. I hate down trees, they're the worst. All right, I gotta get past that. I probably shouldn't be laying down for this. Okay, that wasn't bad. I really need to inspect the bottom of this boat <laughs> after all this. I think these things might be better off on a deeper river or, uh, or a lake. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Oh, shit. We have just... Oh, oh. 
Okay. Okay. I got a problem here. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is not all right. Okay. Small problem. We have definitely, definitely punctured the bottom part of the raft. Cool little rock wall right there. We have definitely punctured the uh, the bottom chamber of the raft. I don't think we're taking on water right now, but we're certainly not floating on the bottom. The uh, floor that I'm on, oh, is definitely on the riverbed right now. Oh. And now, because we've lost that extra flotation, we're dragging on the ground oh, more than we should be. This might be my last recording for this trip because I have to, uh, I have to abort. Okay, let me give an update. Uh, I've managed to make it to shore. I missed my, <laughs> I missed my pullout spot once again. I'm not good at pulling out. I gotta get better at that. Uh, I can put in just fine. You know, sometimes a little wobbly, but I still put in. Um, pulling the boat out is, is tough. Uh, so, I've managed to make it up on this, um, really crappy shoreline, but, uh, it's about 100 yards down from where I was supposed to pull out, so I'm going to try and make it up this, this slightly steep embankment, see if I can drag my boat up too. Um, so listen, this was what I would consider a successful failure. I got out in the water, I had a good time, I had fun. Um, it failed because I ruptured <laughs> the bottom chamber of the boat. Or I not ruptured, I, I basically, I tore it. Um, so it's not like my weight on the air chamber ruptured it. It's, I just tore it on some I don't know, some jagged rocks that I sh shouldn't have gone over in the first place. Anyway, uh, you can even see right here where the chamber, the bottom chamber is flattened and the floor is just now sitting on the bottom. It actually taught me a really cool lesson. Um, I'll give you something better to look at while I talk about this. Um, the strength of the boat the weight capacity of the boat is on these outer chambers. Um, and I discovered this because as my ass sank into the water because of the flattened chamber, I then put my legs up over the sides, my arms up over the sides, and, and I kind of lifted myself up onto these outer two chambers. And because of how big they are, they were easily supporting my weight. Uh, I'm a big dude. I'm 370 right now, 370 pounds, and, and this thing um, easily carried my weight. So I, I really need to rethink my design on um, putting all of the weight on that floor. That's just too much weight to be on those seams. Um, also, another interesting note, uh, when I went over rapids while putting my uh, weight on these outer two chambers, I went over them with ease. I mean, it was, it was um, ridiculous how different it was. So uh, basically, you got to put the floor on the top chambers. You've got to like only have your feet down on the bottom. So I'm going to put, you see where this black stripe is right here. I'm going to put a board from there over to the other side, which I actually think is what the intention of those two black uh, pads are right there. Um, I'm going to put, I'm going to reuse this boat. I'm going to try and repair it. If not, I'm definitely going to buy another one. The uh, Seahawk 2 by Intex. Um, it's awesome. 40 bucks. I'm going to do this again. And I'm going to rebuild the boat in such a way that I'm going to take that long floor out of it. I'm going to put the wooden panel over the center 
and I'm going to sit up high with my feet down low. That's the way this thing should be written in. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, I got to call an Uber. Do they pick you up at Rivers? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Talk to you later. Well, I made it up off the bank. Made my way to this lovely field. And now, I gotta walk back to the parking lot of this place I was supposed to pull out at. It's called um, Harpeth River Highway 100 Canoe Access. Uh, it's actually where I put in last time. I was supposed to pull out there, but once again, I missed it. So, I'll get over here, sit down, and call my Uber. I hope I can get one out here. Alright, so I am safely back in my car. Took an Uber back from the bank to um, to my car over here. It was a real short trip. Tyler, you're the best man. Um, he uh, picked me up out there, drove me straight over here. That's the way you got to do it, man. When you're out here boating by yourself, don't worry about you know getting a friend to pick you up or having to find some other way. Just Uber, man. It's the greatest. So I'm really uh, looking forward to getting back to the boat and inspecting the damage to see what exactly happened. Did it just tear at the seam? Did it scrape up against uh, one of the center parts of the chamber? Um, mostly because I want to know if I can repair it. Uh, and if I can patch it up, <laughs> I'm going right back out next weekend um, or maybe sooner. Gosh, it's a lot of fun for just a cheap old boat. Um, it certainly has given me the adventures that I've been looking for. Uh, which is the whole point of this little project. Alright, catch you later. Well, I'm heading back now to pick up my boat. <laughs> it's actually kind of nice. That's the Highway 100 bridge right there. It looks like it's a lot faster than what it feels like when you're on it. But, now we gotta go check out the damage and uh, see if it can be repaired. Look how high the flood stage gets. That's pretty cool. Never been on this trail. I've only gone through that open field like you just saw. <clears throat> so there's the damage. It is a massive, massive cut. That's the inside of the chamber. As I was going down the river, all the water was going in. Which is an interesting problem now because all the water is sitting right there inside this chamber. Making this boat so much heavier to get out of the water. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to repair that. Alright, so the plan is I'm going to throw this line, this is paracord really, up to the top of this hill. Then I'm going to make my way that way, get up on the hill, come around through these bushes, and pull this boat up on to the top of the bank. Uh, because I can't climb that. It's, too still, it's uh, still too wet from the other day's rain. But I don't want to drag this through here and risk <laughs> tearing it. Well, 
as you can see I got the boat in the back of the truck and uh, I'm heading home I need a shower I need a drink and a cigar and then uh, I'll do a piss poor job of editing this and putting it up on YouTube